Hello everyone, let's try to solve this question together. So we have a newborn infant who failed the critical cyanotic heart disease screen times three. The saturation dropped down to 89% with a difference of 5% between the upper limb and the lower, lower limbs. Uh, so an echo is performed, let's play the echo. So this echo one, and as you guys can appreciate here, let me show you, as you guys can appreciate here, just keep an eye here, you will see tricuspid regurgitation. Let me play it again. And same thing here, keep your eyes on the second echo and let me play if you guys can see. So you guys can see PDA with bidirectional flow. So now we know that there is tricuspid regurg, mild, and now we know there's a PDA with bidirectional shunt. So now let's try to answer the question. So the correct choice here is D. Now let's walk through why others are not the right choice. Performing hyperoxia test and measuring the PO2 this practice should not be done anymore now because we have echo readily available. This was an old practice where we used to give a new net 100% oxygen and then measuring PO2. If PO2 goes above 150, we kind of rule out cardiac disease, but I think echo should be done. So that's what's wrong choice. Starting inhale nitric oxide and follow echo. Again, it's not needed because the, the TR is very mild and um, we just have to observe honestly and intubate and prostaglandin E, prostaglandin E for bidirectional PDA is not really indicated until unless patient is in, in failure or you need to keep this PDA open for other reasons. So that again is, is probably not the right choice. So this is a mild TR with bidirectional shunt. The patient should be observed and an echo in 24 hour will be okay um, as a plan. I hope you know you all have learned something together today. You guys have a wonderful day, bye.